welcome. Now, listen, we've got a fantastic one-hour show for you here now. We are card-making with small beauties. No, I don't mean us. I know you think we are a couple of small beauties. Obviously, they <laughs> chose the biggest presenters to do this show, but we've got some fantastic, fantastic designs on the show, haven't we, Dar? We s can't call him darling, can I? <laughs> It's going so well. <laughs> Darling. I apologise, it's been one of those days. That's my first cock up. I'm glad it went technically wrong as well. Welcome to the show. Listen, we've got a fabulous show. I've got fantastic images. In fact, it's card making with small beauties. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> we're not the small beauties. No, we're big beauties. We are, aren't we, Chuck? <laughs> yeah, we certainly are. Now, this is all about decoupage and teabag folding on today's show. So let's have a look at our first item then, which is 917679, the pack of 20. 3D decoupage sheets. £14.99. You have got three choices. You've got the butterflies, the roses, all the flowers. 917679, pounds and 99 pence. Now, our first tea bag folding item is this pack of 32 floral tea bag sheets. Now, with this, you are going to get 16 different designs and you'll get two of each of those sets. 917680, pounds and 99 pence. And next, our next item is this, which is another great option 917678, pack of 24 combination card making sheets. You've got the butterfly option. We've also got for you the wildflowers, the pinks, or the blues. But we're going to come back and show you the decoupage in a little bit more detail now. We've got three options with the decoupage. The first option is the butterflies. There's the butterflies. 917679 is your item number. You get 20 sheets. You've got four designs and five of each of those four different designs. Or you can have 20 roses. Same configuration with the roses. Four designs, five of each. Or... You can have the next one, which is the flowers. Again, you have got four designs, five sheets of each. Or why not go for all three? We're looking at all three. We're looking at 44.97. That is brilliant. And, of course, one item number if you did that. Now, let's have a look at uh, everything that we've got for you in a little bit more detail. Now, let's have a look at the decoupage to start off with. Remember, you've got three different options with the decoupage. I'm going to show you each of the different sheets that you've got in each set. So you'll get five sheets of this beautiful butterfly sheet here. You've got five of that. You'll also get five sheets of this next item. And that's great. There are two images per page and another two cards mm -hmm. on each sheet. And it's so obvious how to use these as well because this is step-by-step -step decoupage. And then finally, you'll get five sheets of this one as well. That's going to make up your 20 sheets in your butterflies option. But wait till you see the finished examples from those butterflies. Let's just have a look at those. Let's have a look at the butterfly cards first before we look at the roses, because these are just superb. Just look at these. Now, this is really going to give you the inspiration to do your decoupage. Just look at the depth that's in that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You can read that butterfly looks alive, doesn't it? And then we've got uh, that one there, which is equally gorgeous. And then we've got another one there that is just really absolutely stunning. So let's just have a look at one more from this one. And that's using a combination of this and uh, one of the tea bag sets as well, just so you can see how you can mix and match them. 9176791499. Next, we've got the roses option to show you. Now, these roses are just gorgeous. These are really, really beautiful. Now, this, I have to say, I think is probably my favourite. But with this one, once again, you have got... You have got five of the sheet that I'm showing you now, and you can see how easy this is going to be to do because it's complete step-by-step -step decoupage that you've got there. Beautifully illustrated, of course, just to let you know as well that all of these pages are printed onto exactly the right paper for decoupage, which means you can add glitters to this, you can add different glues, you can add different glazes to it as well. If it's printed on the wrong kind of cardstock, you wouldn't be able to do that. So this is your next one. This is your final one. Five sheets of that one, 917-679-1499. Now, we've got some really beautiful cards to go with that uh, option as well. If I were you, I'd go for all three. 14 
all times three would be 44.97. Brilliant. But wait till you see the finished examples. Look at these. These are really beautiful. You can see the depth in that rose. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. You can see each petal. It's just like the real flower. And then we've got another one there in the yellow. And then we've got another one there in the pink. I'm sorry, I'm not very well up on my rose species, but uh, they are it's absolutely lovely. One. It's a pink one. <laughs> 917679 is your item number for that one. Now, our final option for the decoupage is the flowers. Now, I think this is stunning as well, but uh, look at all these beautiful flowers you've got. You've got the iris there. You will get five sheets of the iris. Five sheets of the iris. You will also get five sheets of the sunflower. Five sheets of the poppy. And then finally, five sheets of, I think, the lily. Yes, that's a lily, Chuck. So the item number's the same, 917679, £14.99. That's of the course, high lily and that's the low lily. High really? lily, high lily, high low. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the cards that you can make for that. By the way, if you are a member of the Create and Craft Club, if you order from the website, you must order from the website, you will get an extra 10% discount on anything on today's show. So let's have a look at the cards that have been made from that set. Look These at are this, beautiful as well. Look at this poppy. Look how much work has gone into that. Ah, oh, but it didn't take long to do because no, it's it all sorted no. out for you. Exactly. All we have to do is cut it out and assemble it. And there's... Uh, oh, isn't that lovely? Look at that. And that's... Move on to this next one, which is the iris. And then I'll just show you this sunflower one. Oh, and I then love we the can sunflower. move on. So nine one seven six seven nine fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence is your price. But uh, Alan's going to show us how easy this is. I'll to tell do. you what as well because they're so shiny and they almost look like ceramic, don't they? They're brilliant. Yeah, they do. Now listen, when you get a page, you get a page like this. Let me just borrow that a sec. See that? There's your page there, Chuck. Now, on there, you've got enough for two cards there. You've got this top one here, and you've got the bottom one there. And all the bits and pieces, and it's done step by step like this, as you can see. So all you've got to do is follow, follow, follow it through there, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Mm -hmm. Let me just pop this over to there. I'll try to keep myself organised. So there's the first one. I'm, what I like to do first is just cut it up into the right ones first. There's one there. There's the centre one. There's the design there in the middle there. And these are all original photographs, and they've been kind of kaleidoscoped, haven't they? Brilliant images there. So there's one, the first image. Then that's the second image that you need to cut out there. That's that bit. That one will fit over there. Then that's the next image. Cut like that, and then there's the next image, and the next image, Ooh. and right down to the very little small image. Isn't that lovely? And to sort so, out which images to go, which is yeah. the biggest, three to the smallest. So I'd cut it all out like that first, and then just take a pair of scissors. I've already started on this one. Then just start cutting round. Now, if you wish, you can use a knife as well, a scalpel, but just an ordinary pair of scissors like that, and just cut round it gently. Now, I tried to cut round all the main areas first and then you can go back you can hold that there you go look at that just cut that all the way around like that and then you can go on the inside to do all the little bits in between there and cut there and then just move it round and like that so it's easy I mean if you've got kids with you and that obviously a little bit of uh, parental supervision would be fine because uh, you have got scissors there, you need to make sure everything's safe. So let's pop that one. So that's that one there. Well, imagine you've cut it all out, and I've got a different design here as well. So there's one there, and what I've done, I've taken the photograph and just laid it up, just stuck it onto a card. Now that would look fantastic on, on its, as it is on its own, wouldn't it? That's brilliant there. So let's just take this one now. What we've done here is cut this out. There's the first section. You can see how that fits over there. There's your first section, Chuck's. That fits over there. I know what I've put on here is just some on the back some double-sided foam pads. You could use silicone if you wanted to. And I've just got the last two here to take off to save time. There's one. Oh, that's come off there. There you go. That's all sticky on the back there. Now, if I lay this down on the mat here, and if you stand over it, I'm trying not to get in the way of the camera, but you just position that over the top there like that. Let's see, go if I can see that. Can you see that? Just layers up there nicely. Now, don't press it down so you've got time to lift it up and move it if you're not happy. So that bit there just needs lifting and just moving slightly to there. And then when you're happy where it is, stick that first one down like that. There you go. There's the first one there, Chucks. Can you see that? Now you take the next section, the next section, which is there, which is that bit there, as you can see that. We've just got the, uh, let me lift this up so you can see. It's just the bit there, the top of the flower and the butterfly. 
They go on top of the butterfly. Again, I've got all the little pads on the back. I'm going to stick that down over the top there. Now, I've cut these bits out. Now, I'll tell you what you could do. When I do make a lot of these, what I tend to do, sit and watch TV, cut all the bits out while you're watching TV. So there's the next layer going on there. Then you can take the next layer. I've got the butterfly and the centre of the flower there. There you go, the centre of the flower. That's going to go over the top of there, like that. And then I've got another butterfly here without the flower on the back. That one goes on the top of there. I'm building this up slowly as I go along. Then I've got the individual wings going one way. So let's stick those. Oops, it's alive, that one. It's flying away. There you go. That goes on there. You can see the body in between. If you put it on a slight tilt as well, it looks like it's taking off. And there's the second wing going on there. Let's just press that down. And then finally, we've got even more. We've even got the tips of the wings here. Let's put that one on there like that. Can you see that? See how this is building up? And then we've got the next one on here like... Let's pop that down properly. There you go. And that's from there. So there you go. There's the flower. Look at the butterfly. Look at that. When you lift it up, how that's come alive. Look at that. Can you see that from the side there? Now, I've just got two more things to stick on here. I've got this, well, one more thing here. We've got the flower here on this side, and that one's been cut out like that and just gone round the edges. And let's just stick this down over the top. I'll tell you one thing you can do, though, as well. When you're doing decoupage, you see, we're thinking on the hoof here. Now, you can either take a decision to stick that right over the top there, but if you want, just off-centre it slightly so it looks like you've got two then. So that's raised up and it's coming out of the frame, gives you a little bit more dimension. Top tip, and there is your finished card. I think that looks fantastic. Now, the great thing about those cards as well, these images, they're all photographic images, but they've been kind of manipulated to give these wonderful, wonderful effects. And I've got the original sheet that uh, that particular card originated from. So it's 917679, the pack of 20 3D decoupage sheets. You've got choices, the butterflies, the roses, or the flowers. 1499, but if I were you, I'd go for all three. 4497, one item number. And of course, don't forget that you can order as many items as you like Beautiful. from uh, Create and Craft, either through the call centre or indeed from the website. And as long as you do it in one transaction, the maximum PMP that you will pay, the maximum PMP that you will pay will be £6.95. But I'm just going to remind you of what those decoupage sheets look like now. So it's just a little bit further down here. So this is the uh, butterfly option that we've got at the top. You get 20 butterfly sheets, you've got five designs, and you've got well, four designs and five of each, four designs and five of each, 917679. Same item number, though, is for the roses, which is the next one we're going to look at. And this is the roses. Now, with this one, this is my favourite. Again, you have got four designs and five of each. And then our final option is the flower, section of flowers. And with that one, again, you will get four different designs and five sheets of each. Fourteen ninety nine is the price, and all you have to do to get hold of it is call 08700 700 300, or indeed, or indeed you can order from our website www.creatingcraft.tv. We reckon you can make approximately 40 cards per pack. That is, by anybody's standards, incredible value for money. So if you did go for all three options at forty four ninety seven, that would be 120 cards you'd be able to make. That's just amazing. Amazing. So, what we'll do now then is we'll come back this way and we'll have a look at those wonderful tea bag folding sheets that we've got here. Now, look at these. Pack of 32 altogether. You've got 16 different designs, so you get two sheets of each. These are just lovely. Now, you've got so many different designs running through this. You've got lovely colours. You've got reds. You've got blues. You've got greens. You've got, uh, you've got wild flowers running through this as well. That's a lovely set. $12.99 is the price for this, remember, and that, by anybody's standards, again, is phenomenal value for money. So let me show you through those sheets in a little bit more detail then, because they are just incredible. Let's just have a look at these then, and then I'll show you some of the finished examples. So I've got the 16 different sheets there to show you. Now, as Alan was saying, these are based on real photographs, and they've been manipulated to give this kaleidoscopic effect, which is just superb. Let's just look at that. Now, once again, these are top quality papers. They've been printed on the right kind of paper stock so that if you do want to add extra embellishments to them in the form of glitter glue or glitter or any other embellishment like that, you can do that. If it was the wrong kind of paper, you wouldn't be able to do it. Now, of course, you can, of course, use them for teabag folding, which is what they're designed for. But if you wanted to, them, you could use them as the most fabulous uh, mats and layers as well.
or you could just cut pa parts of them out for borders, you could cut parts of them out using your fancy cut scissors, using your rotor trim or any of your other cup cutting implements. You could use them, of course, with your Sizzix machine as well. That's going to give you a different effect as well. So, so many different things that you can do with them. And for £12.99, you are going to get a pack of 32. They're also acid and lignin free as well, which means all the nasties have been taken out of them. So if you are wanting to use them for scrapbooking, you can do that as well. Now, if you're wondering what lignin is, lignin is something that is found naturally in wood. So obviously paper and wood, you're thinking, hmm. Well, there is a way of removing the lignin from the uh, paper so that over a period of time, it isn't going to uh, deteriorate in your scrapbooks. And acid, of course, is what will destroy your photographs. So all of that has been removed from those. So that's and your the relationship. <laughs> so let's show you some of the finished examples that have been made from that set here. Now look, these are just lovely. Now, of course, teabag folding, some people think is quite hard to do. It's not. It's just based, it's just based on miniature, well, it is effectively miniature origami. Now, for those of you wondering about how teabag folding started, it was actually started by uh, a Dutch lady called Tini van den Plas, who was, uh, well, in a hotel room sometime in the early 1990s, got up in the middle of the night and thought, I want to fold something. What could I fold? Bless well, her. what she could fold was the tea bag. She wants to get out more. The tea bag paper holder. You know, on the continent, how the tea bags come in those different coloured papers or those different coloured bags. Well, she actually started folding that, and that's how tea bag folding originated. So, do they have a, telly over there? Yes, they do have telly they over have telly? there as well. So, those are your finished examples from that set. But I think Alan is going to show us how to do some tea bag folding now. Yeah, aren't you? I'm going to do. Do you want to find that image there? That beautiful yeah, I'll image find there. It. See that yeah, lovely sure, flower? Off you go. Then I'll find right, it. I'll just show this with tea bag folding there's loads and loads of different images uh, different ways of folding I'll try and do about three on the show today if you get a chance right let me just show you the first one now one of the techniques one of the best one of the, one thing there's a few points you, I'll get there eventually there's a few points that you have to remember the more accurately you cut these out and make it a true square and the more you make your folds absolutely perfect and the crease is absolutely pristine the better the end result will look so if this looks like a dog's iron leg because I'm under pressure. Look, I guess who's on my, look who's on my shoulder. Look. Me? He's hovering. He's hovering. Right. First of all, this is your first fold. Turn it upside down. There's, you've got your picture there on the front. Turn it upside down so you've got the white bit showing. And then fold it up from corner to corner. That is your first fold there. And then here's what I mean about making that crease there really strong. Really strong along there. So you've got your first triangle, as it were, there. First triangle. Then open it up again. And again, fold it with the white side up, fold it over from the opposite corner to the opposite corner again, and crease it down the middle. There you go, like that. Look at that. Now you can see that how that's done. This. So if I open that up, you can see they've got, you've got a crease going down there and a crease going down there. Next, with the printed side upwards, fold it over and press down. So the white side will become on the top there. And iron, let's just iron this up here. Get it nicely creased down there. See, there's my third crease there, like that. And then open it up again and turn it round and fold it the opposite way from edge to edge. And again, trying to get it as accurately as possible. Then when you fold it over like that, open it up and it will naturally spring in together to give you... See how that's naturally springing in together there to give you that kind of effect. You've got a triangle there, you've got a flat triangle there, all used up. Then press it down again. Now you must make sure you use the same way, every, you do it the same way every time if you want your picture look, to look geometric. You can see there I've got the two little white bits in either corner. So make sure every one that I fold is the same way, it'll always look the same. And then on this particular one, what we're going to do is tuck this one underneath and fold it. Now I find if you kind of go like, if you push that over there first, and then fold that one back there. So that line is going down the edge. I'll just show you. I'll do it first and I'll show you because I'm all, f all fingers here. Now, as you can see that, you see what I've done there? There's that, there's, that, there's that fold. I've gone over there like that, folded that back so it goes along the line there. And then all you do with that one then is then just fold it over again so it's actually underneath and that's popping up there. See there? It's popping up there like that. Now you do lots of those, and then you just join them together. I've already joined those two together there. See those? Now it's so simple and easy to do. You just slot those two in between there, but before you do, take a little bit of glue, and 
a little bit of glue just on the inside there with a glue, a glue uh, pen, which you can get off the website. Just slide that inside. You see that opens up there. Slide that in there and push that down. And there is your next fold. You see how that's building up around there like that? And then open that one up again. Then take your next one. A little bit of glue. A little bit of glue. And then that goes either side there. Slides in there. And you're building up the design like this all the time. So you've done all your folds. Another little bit of glue in there. Let's take another one of those and pop that in there. And you can see how this is building up a beautiful picture. Again, open that bit up there. A little bit of glue. And fold that into there like that. And then when you get to the other end, when you get to the other end here, have I got enough there? Yeah, that's enough. There you have, yeah. Then... You go to the other end there, you just put another little bit of glue in the last one there. And then fold that last, the first one into the last one there. Fold that, stick that down like so. And you've got your beautiful tea bag folded design. Now the great thing about this is as well, it looks fantastic that way, doesn't it? But turn it over, it looks just as good that way as well, but slightly different. You can decide which side that you prefer. Um, there's not much in those two, but it depends on the designs you're doing. And then what you can do is take your card, there's my card, a little bit of glue in the middle there. Now you could use foam pads if you wished, and I'm just going to stick that down in the middle there, just make it geometric. Uh, stick that down, and there you've got a beautiful card. Oh, it's falling off. I'll tell you what, you sh I'm going to put some, I'm gonna put some uh, foam pads on this one. Do you want to show the original? Well, this was the sheet that uh, that originated from, so you can see how easy that was to do. 917-680-1299. But, of course, if you are just joining us and you missed the back end of that, what you might want to do is look out for when this show comes on again, and, of course, you can then just hit your record button and then you can play it again and you again can. and again. So that would be an easy thing for you to do as well. So that's how simple I've that is I've got the to do. pads on the back here. I knew that glue pen wasn't working. I prefer using pads. I've put some four little pads on the back of there now, taken the backs off, uh, stick this down again exactly where I want it, and it raises it even more and gives you even more of a fantastic effect. There you go. And then you've got a beautiful tea bag folded image. Now, these, these papers have worked fantastic with this as well. I mean, that's just one of the folds, but there's loads and loads of different folds that you can do. Yes, there certainly is. So uh, your item number is 917680 is your item number. So let me just show you exactly what you're going to get for your money with this. You're going to get 32 sheets all together. You've got 16 different designs and two of each design. So you will effectively get two of everything that I'm about to show you now. So you get two of this one, well, two of everything. So you've got lots of different colourways running through this as well. You've got reds, you've got greens, you've got oranges, you've got blues, you've got purples, you've got violets, you've got lots of different flower designs running through this set as well. So there's a colour for virtually everybody in there. There's a design for virtually everybody in there as well. But these are top quality tea bag papers as well. Now, don't take my word for it necessarily. Check out other websites, check out your stores. You'll find out what value for money these are by checking that out. But uh, these are just superb. 917680 is your item. £12.99 is your price for those. And all you have to do is call the number on the bottom of your screen, 08700 700 300. Or, of course, you can visit our website, www.creatingcraft.tv. Now, bear in mind that you can pay something like 50 pence to a pound a sheet for tea bag folding papers. You can see what a wonderful price that and is. And you know what? There's one special reason why Barry loves me doing tea bag folding keeps me quiet. It does keep you quiet as well, actually. But we've got some other tea bag folding papers on the show as well, so let's just have a look at those. Now, in this instance, we've got a combination of card and paper. There'll be 24 in total, so you've got four different choices altogether. This is the first choice. This is the butterfly choice. This is your first option that we've got for you there. Your item number is 9176. Seven, eight. So you get a mixture of card and paper in that set. So effectively what you're going to get here is 16 sheets of paper and 8 sheets of card. So our next option underneath the same item number is this one, which is the wildflowers. And that is, uh, that's the wildflowers one. Lots of different flowers you've got there all together with that one. And then the next one we've got for you is the pink. This is the pink. Obviously, lots of different pink themes running through this one as well. And then our final option. Remember, you've got 24 sheets all together in this. And uh, it's a mixture of paper and card. This is the pink we're looking at now. And then finally, we've got the blue option just there. So there it is. 
So let's just have a look in a bit more detail. If I go back down there. Now, by the way, if you did go for all four options, you'd be looking at 51, 51 96 51.96 if you went for all four options and one PMP. So let me just show you some more detail here then. We've got to show you the butterfly section first. Now with each of these sets you're going to get 16 sheets of paper and paper. eight sheets of card. So let's just have a look at these then. So this is the paper I'm showing you now. They look like stained glass windows, don't they? They do, don't they? Gorgeous. 12 dollars and this is the butterfly option that I'm showing you at the moment. And you'll see why it's a butterfly option in a moment, because uh, you'll see a butterfly, uh, a full butterfly at the back of this. So this is still the paper that we're looking at now. <clears throat> so effectively, you're getting two <coughs> of everything that I'm showing you now. And now you can see the butterflies. Look at those fabulous photographic images that you've got running through this set. This is now the card. <coughs> There's a butterfly. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then if I move on to the next one, this is card also. And I've got some more card running through that. And uh, £12.99 and is your price. I actually think this is 12 pieces of card and 12 pieces of paper because we've got... Uh, it's all card that I'm showing you at the moment anyway. twelve ninety nine is your price for that one and uh, this is absolutely fabulous. But let's just have a look then at the different cards that you can make with that. Now this is based, this card that I'm showing you now is based very much on something similar to iris folding. It's not quite iris folding but it's something very similar to that. So there is the butterfly and there is another one there that you've got. And let's move on to this one. And then you can see the butterfly option that we've got there and then finally we've got that one there for you as well in your butterfly option so let's have a look then at the let's have a look at the next one and do you know what Barry got it the wrong way around you actually get 16 sheets of card and 8 sheets of paper <sighs> sorry about that but that's even better value isn't it aren't you glad I made that mistake now I am so, Barry let's just have a look there. Come now, I showed you the eight designs for the card and the four designs for the paper, so... <laughs> Barry's fault, never mind. So, this is the wildflowers option. This is paper. So, you'll get two of each of this paper design here with the wildflowers. Two of each of this one. Paper again. Two of each of this one. And two of each of this one. Now we've, got, now we've moved on to the card. And you'll get two of each of these as well. So look at these. These are really gorgeous. Now once again, of course, you can use this to do lots of different things. You could do this, use this to use teabag folding if you wanted to. You could use this to make wonderful borders. You could use these to make fabulous backgrounds, <coughs> lots of different mats and layers, fabulous colours running through the whole set. I just think these are incredible. 917678 is your item number for this one. £12.99 is your price for that. Absolutely wonderful. Everything you see times two. So that's your wildflowers option. Now I'm going to show you some of the cards from it because the cards are brilliant. Cards, I think, is what brings it alive for all of you because you can look at the papers, you can they're great, but wait till you see the cards. So let's just have a look at those then. So I've got some of the cards just there from that set. Look at this. This is all from the wildflowers. Look how detailed these cards are. Look at that. Now you can make a card just, just from these. Obviously you can mount these different panels up onto your existing cardstock if you want to, as we've done with this one. By the way, we do have lots of very interesting cardstock and uh, lots of different sizes as well on that website. Details at the bottom of the screen. There's something that's been done with some teabag folding there. Here's another one that I think you're going to love this one. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So there's lots of different things that you can achieve using this set. And there's another very simple picture that's been made, but it looks effective. Nothing is taken away from the fact that it uh, is a fairly simple design. There's another one there for you. Now, I think that... I just want to think what that flower is. What's that flower? Pansy! It's a pansy. <laughs> and uh, now we've got... Uh, I don't know what the flower is, there. though. And there's one more, and I'll just show you this one, and then we'll move on to, or a couple, oh, got a couple, oh, actually, there's a couple more you've got to see. Look at that one. Wow. That's funky. And this one is as well. Look at that. And then finally, I've got this one that uh, combines two different, uh, well, one particular type of iris folding there. So, 917678, that is your wildflowers option. So let's move on now to the pink option that we've got for you. As I said, if I were you, I'd go for all four. If you went for all four, you'd be looking at 51.96. You'd have absolutely loads of stuff if you did that. 
And you'd be able to make hundreds of cards with that, absolutely hundreds. So this, again, then, is the pink. Now, with this one, you get two of each of everything that I'm showing you now. So this is the paper. We've got four different designs in the paper. And again, lots of different colours. Obviously, the main theme running through this is pink, but you've got some complementary colours to go with the pink as well, including <clears throat> the reds and the greens in that set. And then look at those wonderful, shocking pink designs oh, contrasted beautifully shocking. with that green. So there's your paper. And now this is... This is the card. You've got those fabulous images. So that would make a card in itself, and these side images would as well. So you've got 16 sheets of the card, two of each of everything I'm showing you now, effectively. You could cut all these little designs out to make some wonderful embellishments as well for your uh, cards, and the same applies to this as well. £12.99 is your price for these, and they are really... Look how detailed they are. Just look at that. So 917678 is your item number. And although pink is the main theme, there are lots of colours that go very well with pink that are running through this set. Twelve ninety nine is your price. Let me show you. Let me show you some of the cards that have been made from that set. Now, you can make some beautifully kaleidoscopic effect cards using this set. Look at these. They can be very simple, like this one. And this one's also very simple as well, but nonetheless effective. Or you could do something a little bit more elaborate, as we've done with this one. So you've got uh, a big panel running down the centre, but you've got two border panels running along the uh, side. This one incorporates some folding there, which is also very effective. And uh, look at this next one I've got for you, with the variations on teabag folding running through the centre. And uh, some more panels there that have just been cut out. This one's quite interesting. Look at that. How effective oh. is that one? And I love this one. This one's a favourite. Bit of iris folding type effects going on with that one. And then this one I think you'll love as well. So there it is. 917678, £12.99. pence. Now your final option is the blues. Let's just show you the blues then. So here they are. Same configuration again. You will get, you will get the uh, paper and you'll get the card in this set. So you have 16 sheets of card and eight sheets of paper. That makes up your 24. So you've got the teabag folding sheet there, lots of different uh, blues and yellows, and then we've got some uh, sort of pinkies and blues running through that one. Pansies again. Pansies again. And then we've got some blues and some reds in that one. Then we've got the sunflowers against uh, a really kaleidoscopic background. And now we're moving on to the card. There's a card. You've got all these big sunflower panels running through this set. Then you've got the little panels that you could use for borders or you could cut the individual designs out if you wanted to. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Fabulous. This is, all card. this is all card that I'm showing you now, remember. Lots of different borders again going and some more borders. So you could really mix and match these oh, sets if you wanted to. Look at that. Beautiful. And the clarity of these photographs, I have to say, is really second to none. Look at that. So, 917-678-1299, and we've got some really beautiful examples to show you once again with this set. So this show is all about decoupage and uh, card making, and of course a little bit of teabag folding. How marvellous! Well. So How marvelous. don't miss out on any of the items that we've got. If you just join us, make sure you look out for this show the next time, and uh, hit the record button. So, here we oh, are. Oh, the delete. <laughs> <laughs> There's some more cards. Oh, look at that one. That's an elaborate one. That's gorgeous. And another plain panel card there. Yeah, that's amazing though, isn't it? You just cut one section out, stick it on a white card, and you've got a card. It looks fantastic. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's nature's cathedral windows. A bit of tea bag that's folding what it going is. on then. And a bit more tea bag folding going on. Fabulous. And then we've got some more panel cards there just to show you. Just What's great that though, that the papers and the cards match so well, so you can do your tea bag folding and mix them with the images as well. You can, can't Brilliant. you? And then we've got some uh, iris folding there. And then we've got this one there for you. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that one. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. You've got all those shell effects there. Oh, marvellous. So, those are your four different options. Remember, if you went for all four, 51.96 if you went for all four options. And of course, as with everything else, if you did it all the same transaction, you only pay one PP of six pounds and ninety-five pence. So back to Alan and you're gonna show us. I want to show, show you another tea use... bag folder. I've got the pinks, so I've got the pink selection okay, here. Lovely. The pinks and reds, as it were. Now I'm just gonna show you again, if you watch, I'm, I'm doing almost the same as what I did last time with the tea bag folding. Take it from corner to corner with the white side up first, turn it over, and then corner to corner the opposite way. And a good strong crease down there, really flatten it down there. Turn it over, and then edge to edge. 
like that. And then finally, edge to edge again. And then you just pucker it up, pucker it up like that, pucker it up, and flatten it down again. So you've got that triangle effect there, but nicely flattened down. There's your triangle effect. Now what we're going to do this time is take this edge and this edge over into the centre. So if I just turn it around slightly, and then there's a crease down the middle here, you're putting this edge down here, down the centre. So if you just roll it over and get a nice point at the tip here, and then just flatten that down. So there is your first fold. You can see that? And basically what you're doing is bringing that fold up there to meet that one. So I'm going to fold that over. And that's going to go... I say it's all in the fold in here. The neater you make it now, the better it's going to look at the end. There you go. That's folded over. There you go. So you've got that effect there. Now you see what I've done here? Because I've not been so accurate, I've got a little bit of the white show in there, which is not so good. If you want, you can trip that, trim that off with scissors or just... Uh, let it blend in with the design. But the more accurate, accurate you are at folding these, the better it's going to look. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you three or four different ways of actually using these now. So the first way is, like we did with the last one, you lift the, one of these flaps up here and slide that into there, underneath there, a little bit of glue, hold it down, and you just go all the way around like that. That just holds it. I'm not going to stick it down now because I want to show you some different ways as well. But you can see what I'm doing there, just sliding it in just underneath that flap, a little bit of glue behind there, and then you end up, if I can just show you that, hold it like that, a nice kind of rosette effect there. But there's another way you can do it as well. Now say you want to put, say that's the rosette, I could do that in the centre of the card there, and that'd look very, very nice. But what you could also do is take these and then just slot them, a little bit of glue. Now can you see the back there? You're going to slot it just inside there, the other way around. So it's going to end up like that going in there. That's the back of it, and that's the front of it there. So you can see what you're, oh. you're doing there. You're creating a wonderful effect. It's like cascading triangles. It's cascading triangles. And what you do is a little bit of glue in each of those as you're building it up. So you can make this as long as you like and do a fantastic border down oh, wow. the edge of your card, say. Let me just stick those in. Every time you stick one of those in, you glue it. So you can create a lovely border. And if I put this onto the card here... Or you can just have a quick look. I'll just do it very quickly. And let's slot another one in there. That can just go in there. So instead of it going round in a circle, we're just creating a border effect. And I just do as many as I want going up the edge there. You see that? But then there's another way you can do it as well. I think you need twice as many. I've got eight. It takes eight to make a rosette. You only need about eight and nine to go on a border here. But there's another thing you can do, and I've not got enough here to do, but I can start it off. Now, what I'm going to do this time, there is your design. You're getting them both going the same way, like that. And then that is going to go into there, just there, but on a slight angle. And you can, it just butts in there nicely. Just butts in there nicely. And so you get everyone the same. So that just go in there. And it's on a slight kind of, same as what we did before, but it's on a slight angle. And then the next one goes in there on a slight angle, like that. And it does a fantastic circle all the way around. I think you need about uh, 16 to go all the way around. But let me just... I'll tell you what, I'm going to glue this one. We've got time to glue it, haven't we? Yeah. So I'm not going to be able to finish the circle because I don't have enough of the papers. But if I just glue it, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back there. Slide it into there. Like that. And I can see... Can you see that you get that natural angle there? And just press it together. And there's your first one there. Then you turn it round a little bit, a little bit of glue on the next one, on the back of that one there, and then just stick that down. Oops. And again, you just slide it into that section there, and it naturally butts in. You just do it on a slight angle, and press it down, and you can see the circle already forming. A little bit more glue on the back of that one, and stick this together. Again, and it's amazing what you can do. You can create all sorts of things. I made one the other day that looked a bit like a lizard by doing them in various sizes and put legs on it, etc., etc. A little bit of glue and just put it into there, and it naturally goes into position like that. Just give it a squeeze. There's another one. Can you see how it's? curving round into a circle. This would be great. So if you had some like, you know, if you've got these, some of these images, I mean, this is like red and green. Fantastic holly wreaths, like wreaths of Christmas going round. Mm. Uh, and then let's have a look on a bit more glue on here. And pop that in there like that. 
There you go. So it just forms a natural curve. And you can see how that's naturally curving round there, which is attractive. And you just put in as many as you need to go all the way around. In fact, this looks quite nice as it is, so I'm just going to stick this onto the car to give a kind of a... Oh, it looks a bit like a lizard, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's put a little bit of glue on here. A dragon. Oh, a dragon. Now, of course, this isn't going to stick. I'll be better with my pads. Uh, stick that down there like that. There you go. Stick that down, press it down, and there you go. You can see the start there, but that could be a dragon, couldn't it? It could be anything like that. Look at that, brilliant. You could put two eyes on that. It's Fantastic. a triangular starburst. It is, and I've got a double one here that I did earlier on. Let's see if that fits on the end. There you go, there's its tail, a double one. Let's stick that down there at the bottom. Uh, we're making, here we think on the hoof here. I'm sure lots of you think we rehearsed this. Ha, 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 ha. I'm sure when you've watched it, you realise we don't. <laughs> there you go, Chucks. <laughs> there you go, a couple of eyes on that. You've got an unusual fish. You've got a fantastic fish or something like that. You've got the backbone of a prehistoric animal. You can turn it into lots and lots of different things. So when you're doing your tea bag folding, don't be just inspired in doing to the, just the same simple kind of rosettes. You can do all sorts of things with those from one basic fold. Now, and that's what it started out as. Exactly. Look at that. And that's all it was. You see, there's eight in there, so you'd need to ten there. You'd need two sheets, and you'd probably get a full circle. There you go. Fantastic, Chucks. It certainly is. Now, I want to show you those four different choices again. Now, the first one that I'm going to show you is the butterflies. Let's just have a look at the butterflies. Let's just... Uh, now, remember, you get two of everything that I'm about to show you now. So, you can use this for teabag folding, or you can use it to do any kind of embellishment that uh, you like, that this would lend itself to. So, 917678, you've got eight pieces of paper, and you have got 16 sheets of the card. They're all full A4 size as well. So, 12.99 is your price for this one. Remember, if you went for all, if you went for everything, you'd be looking at 51.96. Remember, you're getting two of everything that I'm showing you now. So, two of each of these designs in the paper, and two of each of the designs in the card. So, I'm just now moving on to the card. Now, it's the card that contains all of these really detailed photographic images. So, you've got those two big panels there, and you've got the smaller images running around there as well. They are excellent images. They've been beautifully photographed, and all of these different designs are a manipulation of photographic images. So that is really going to give you some fabulous things to deal with here with your card making and your scrapbooking. Remember, they're all acid and lignin free as well, so you can use them in your scrapbook pages and uh, you're not going to get anything going wrong with those in years to come. Generations will be able to look at them and think what a fabulous image that was and what a wonderful scrapbook page that uh, piece of paper inspired. So there you go, $12.99. That is your butterflies option. Let's have a look at the wildflowers option now. Although, before we do that, let's just show you the, the cards from that butterfly option because you should see some of the different ideas of what you can achieve with it. Just look at these. Now, this again is teabag folding. Now, teabag folding is ever so easy to learn. All you've got to do is just follow the different folds Alan was showing you. There are, of course, books on our website on teabag folding. Provided we've got them in stock, you can get hold of them. And uh, there's lots of different inspiration that we give you regularly on Creating Craft with Ideal World to show you how to get the very best from this very popular craft. So, that is the examples from the butterflies. Let's move on now to the wildflowers then. Once again, same configuration. <coughs> you'll get eight sheets of the paper, 16 sheets of the card, and you'll get two of each of what I'm going to show you now. So, these are the wildflowers option now. Now, as I said before, you could use these for teabag folding if you wanted to, but you could. You could so easily use these as mats and layers or just as sections of your card or scrapbook pages. Look how detailed these designs are. Once again, they're based on photographic images. Now you've got the card. It's got those big pictures there that you can use to produce different effects. Then you've got these small pictures that have been converted into borders. And then we've got some big pictures there. Again, that beautiful trees. You've got four trees. That's four cards alone that you've got on that one sheet. Look at that. And then you've got all these different panels that you could use. You could cut these panels up and you could cut these shapes out. And if you just put two or three of those on a slimline card, that's literally hundreds of cards that you can get out of this. Just two or three of those. Twelve ninety nine, remember, is your price. Then we've got some more fantastic photographic images running through this set. Remember, you're going to get two sheets of everything that I'm showing you now. So this one's got four of those photographic. That's eight cards just out of two sheets you can make. You can make literally hundreds out of this. It is brilliant value for money for £12.99. Remember, 
51.96 would get you all four sets, and that would just be one PMP as well there. So because it's the same item number. Now let me show you some of the finished examples from that one before we move on to our next option. Now, if you thought the last ones were great, wait till you see these. Now look at these. Now this is absolutely stunning. That is just some of those paper panels being cut up and then they've been folded to produce that wonderful card there. Now we've got other variations now on tea bag folding in that one. And I've just got a couple more to show you from this one as well. Just look at those different things that you can achieve. Really beautifully inspired ideas that we've got in this set. So that's that one to show you. Now I'm going to move on to your other options. Now you've got two other options underneath the item <coughs> number, the pink and the blue. Let's show you the pink to start off with. Once again, it's exactly the same configuration. You'll get two of everything that I'm showing you now, and that will effectively be eight sheets of paper and 16 sheets of card. Now, we've got more tea bag folding going on there with the pink. Now, it's not all pink on this set, but the pink is the heavy influence. But there have been colours that are complementary to pink that have been included in the set. I think that for a beginner to crafting, or even an advanced crafter, this is going to be such a great set to get because there's so much. It's absolutely huge. Now, if you've got one of those paper trimmers, you could cut one of those down as a border, and you've got uh, two fabulous borders, in fact, probably four borders for a slimline card there. Incredible. What you, the more you look at this set, actually, the more you can see the different things that you can do with it, the more you can see just how value-packed it is. I think this is probably one of the most value-packed sets that I've ever seen when you think of all the different images that you've got and all the different things that you can do with it. Look at that, 917678-1299. Now, let's show you some of the cards that have been done with that one. And just to show you as well that a fraction of that set has been used to make the following cards, and I mean a fraction. Look at these. Very unusual, but uh, you see what I mean there about cutting up the strips and using them in com combination with the other images. This one I particularly love. There's a lot of drama going on in that card. Oh, that. drama! And uh, this is an unusual finish to this card here as well. It's like a patchwork. It is like exactly like a patchwork. But imagine how many cards you'd be able to make when you've got so many of those small images running through that set. Then we've got uh, the tea bag folding going on there, and then we've got a little bit more tea bag folding going on in that one, and then we've got uh, a slimline card there that's been produced by using some of those images that have been cut out along with some of the panels. And I've got a couple more to show you. And you can make a card as simple as that. If you're new to card making, wouldn't you be pleased to just make that? That would probably take you about 10 minutes to make, and then oh, you'd be thinking seconds. to yourself, well, probably, that, yeah, probably 10 seconds, actually, yes. All you need to do is cut it up and mount it. Now, the next one that we've got for you is the blue option. The blue option, once again, with this one, you've got two of everything that I'm showing you now, eight sheets of paper and two and 16 sheets of card. <laughs> 917678. I'm so excited. There's so much in this. Look at it. It's stuffed. So many different panels that you've got there. This, again, is all about tea bag folding. But then look at these wonderful card panels that you've got. Look at all those different things you've got. You've got those sunflowers. You've got four huge sunflower panels. But because you get two of these sheets, you will have eight of those sunflower panels and everything else that's on that sheet. The same for this one. And it all coordinates beautifully as well. If you can go for all four sets, then just, have, just think how many different mix and match ideas you could get out of this. It's a wonderful set. You have to get hold of it. And to get hold of it, all you have to do is call 08 700 700 300 or visit our website, www.createandcraft.tv. Look at the clarity of that photograph. Now, all of these designs are based on kaleidoscopic manipulation of genuine photographs to give you some really wonderful results. Let's just have a look, then, at the cards that have been made from this set. Now, these are going to inspire you still further, I'm sure, so let's just uh, pick those up and have a look at them. Here we go. Again, this is based on iris folding. So many different things you can do with them. You can do the tea bag folding. You can do the iris folding. You could do ordinary origami with this set if you wanted to. You could just do some cards like this that have just take them on those panels and they've just been embellished with a couple of uh, tea bag folding folds on the on each of the corners you could do something like that you could mix and match some of the panels to produce a different effect you could again mix your uh, panels with tea bag folding there again we've got some really interesting tea bag folding going on with that set and then we've got some ordinary panels again just with that one so you do have some really wonderful things in this set. 917678, pounds and 99 pence. Now, just to recap on the different options that you've got, you've got butterflies, you've got wildflowers, you've got pink, or you have got 
blue. Now, the one thing I'd like to show you now is the decoupage, because the decoupage is brilliant as well. You've got four different options with the decoupage, sorry, three different options with the decoupage. And here we go. This is your first option. This is the butterflies that we've got at the back. Remember, you have got 20 sheets altogether. You've got four different designs. You've got five sheets of each. Your item number for the butterflies is 917679. 917679. Now, underneath the same item number, we've also got the floral, the floral decoupage, or the rose decoupage, rather. This is the rose one that we're going to show you now. Again, you've got four different designs, five sheets of each. Again, beautifully clear photographic images that are going to enable you to bring those flowers back to life on your cards or your scrapbook pages. Below that though we've got the floral option. Now with that one you've got irises, you've got sunflowers, you've got lilies and uh, the other flower you've got in there which is escaping me at the moment. Uh, I'll get back to that one in a moment. There's another flower in that one, is it? Poppies, that's it. So you've got all of those in there also. Your item number again for that one is 917679. This is the butterflies that we've got there at the back. 1499 if you went for all three options. 4497. Now let's just inspire you with some of the ideas that have been done from this particular set which are just down here so let's just have a look at them so let's have a look at the different cards that we've got now these again absolutely <coughs> superb look at these now decoupage is one of those really really popular uh, craft well, what would you say, craft genre? No, would you say Oh, that? you would. I'd just I say would. craft stuff. Yeah, well, it's a very, very popular craft speciality these days, and oh. you don't seem to be able to get enough of your decoupage. So that is your from your butterfly option, 917679. Let's show you some from the roses option that we've got now. And you can see how these flowers, look at the depth in this. Now, remember, television is very much a two-dimensional medium, but look, you can really see the depth in that, can't you? If I just turn it on its side... You can see those pads there that are really separating all of those sections. Remember, this is step-by-step -step decoupage as well. It's quite obvious how to do this. You start off with the biggest image and you work your way forward right to the very smallest image. It's step-by-step. -step. A complete beginner could do this, and indeed a child with supervision could do it as well. It's like an horticultural block of flats, isn't it? It is, yeah, an horticultural block of flats. <laughs> a horticultural block of flats. I like that. And your final option is the flowers. Let's have a look at some of the cards that you can make with that one. We've got this beautiful sunflower with this one. Look at that. Isn't that brilliant? And then we've got that uh, lovely iris. And then I've got one more to show you, which is the poppy. So, 917-679, pounds and 99 But we're going to have another demonstration now with uh, Alan. Yes, I'm going to do a quick decoupage. And they are quick, these decoupage. There's a lovely image. Now, doesn't that make a fantastic card on its own? That beautiful blue flower there. Isn't that gorgeous? Now you can enhance it, of course, we can decoupage that open. Now I've already been busy, we've cut all these out and I've stuck the pads on ready to go because that's the fun bit, isn't it? See it come alive. Yeah. So again, laying it over the top here exactly where you want it and just lay that down, stick your first layer on there, gently press it down there. Now you need to support this perfectly with all the differently uh, spaced out pads there if you just put them all in one position then it would kind of get weak in one area you need to really spread those pads out and then just line this up exactly again over the top and that's stuck down there over there like that you can see how that's building up already see that fabulous uh, let's take the next one here and make sure you're getting the flower going the right way so that goes there like that uh, let's pop that down on there again that's building up beautiful then let's take another one, and that's the next one on here. So where does that go? That goes here like that. And pop it down, and there we've got there. You see how that's building up nicely? And let's take the next one. Let's get the flower. And it's always good to watch. I see the white part of the centre of the flower is there. So I'm getting the petals all going in the right direction. Oops, that went down before I wanted it to, but you can peel it back off easily and position over the top. There you go, there's another layer. Oh, look at that. You can go as many layers as you want, but I've only got three more layers to go. And I'm going to put those, that one there, the final two petals there. And that's going to go like that. Like that. Fabulous. Look how that's layered up there. Look at that effect you're getting there. Really coming to life now. And then we've got the centre here. And let's put the flower going the right way. Centre bit like that and then finally i've got a little bit of a a little bit of a, a little bit of a leaf here and i'm just going to off center it here so it looks like the leaf's coming out of it and look at that 
Look at uh, that. Isn't that fantastic? Look at that from the side. And then you've got that beautiful image there. 917679 is the pack of 23T Cooper sheets. Only 14.99. That's brilliant. And this was from the flower selection. And that was the sheet that it came from. So there you are, you've got three different options, 917679. Now, what we're going to do now is remind you of everything that you've seen in the show, and we're going to start off then with this, which is, this is your first item. So it's 917679, the pack of 23 3D coupage sheets, £14.99, this is your butterfly option. We've also got the roses or the flowers, 917679, and that is a really fabulous set. Now, the next item we've got for you is the tea bag folding sheets. Remember, 32 of these, you've got uh, 16 different designs and two of each. You get all of this, all of this, for that great price of £12.99. 917680, 917680 is your item number. Let's have a look at our next item then. And our next item is this, which is 917678, the pack of 24 combination card making sheets. You've got a choice of the butterflies, the wildflowers, the pinks, or the blues. So that's 917678. And I've got some examples made from that uh, butterfly set, which I'll show you in a moment or two. In fact, why don't I show it to you now? This is from the butterfly set. Incredible value for money. So many different things that you can do with these sets. I would go for all four if you can. Fifty-one ninety-six if you went for all four. Brilliant value for money. Just look at all the different things you can do with it. Incredible. So that's just from the butterfly option, and uh, we've also got some from we've also got some from the wildflowers option. I'll just show you a couple of those. So there's a couple of those, and these are just incredible. Look at these. So that's for your wildflowers, 917678. But what do you think of these? I think they're absolutely fantastic because you're getting so many different images in there. You can just use one section of the photographic image and just stick it on a card, layer it up, and it looks fantastic. But you've got your tea bag folding in there. You could do your, your paper plaiting. You could do the paper weaving. You could do your iris folding. You can do all sorts of things with those fantastic sex. But for 12 99 for 24 sheets... I think that's fantastic. You're getting the card, you're also getting the paper, 16 card, eight of the paper, so you can mix and match for 12 99 I think that's absolutely incredible. In fact, if you come here a sec, come here. I've just got, I don't know if you're able to come here. I can just do a step-by-step -step showing you some of the things that you can do. Let me run through a few more ideas very, very quickly. There you go, you've got that one there, starting off there, sticking those down. And then iris folding, you stuck some more on the back, going all the way around. Build that up there. Then your next section, you just keep going, so you build up that section. Then you've got it there finished, you trimmed all the edges off. Then you can stick it onto a card like this, like this, or you can stick them both together wow. like that. There's loads of different things you can do with these. That's a little bit more inspiration. Twelve ninety nine. you're having a laugh. Nine one seven six seven eight. I think that's a lovely show. I've enjoyed that. Yeah, one. I've really enjoyed it as well. And I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. But make sure that you look out for all of the other wonderful decoupage shows and tea bag folding shows that and we have on Great and Craft with Ideal get World. Get on that website. Have a right good mooch around on there. You'll find lots and lots of things. And don't forget, we restock all the time. So if something was once was out of Stock yesterday, it might be in stock now, exactly. so check it out. Website at the bottom of your screen, www.creatingcraft.tv. We'll see you very Enjoy soon. Enjoy your crafting. Bye. Bye.